PNG is really thrilled to receive the GBC Health Award this year. And it's for our work on the Children's Safe Drinking Water Program. This is an effort to raise awareness of the global clean drinking water crisis and to help address it by providing PNG water purification packets. We developed these in a collaboration with the CDC, and now we're providing them through a wide group of humanitarian organizations, more than 100 partners. And so providing clean drinking water and reducing child mortality are two of the key MDGs that we're helping to address through these partnerships. Well, PNG has been around for 175 years and we have a lot of well-trusted brands that people love and use like Pampers and Crest and Always. And what we found is that when these brands support a social cause, like our Children's Save Drinking Water program, it really allows them to connect in a unique way uh, with their consumers of those brands. So it's something we're, we've seen a lot of support from in the past and we, we are using that support now to raise awareness of the global clean drinking water crisis. For example, we've participated in initiatives like Summit on the Summit Kilimanjaro, where we hiked Mount Kilimanjaro to raise awareness of the global water crisis. We've done it twice now. I'm stupid enough to hike Mount Kilimanjaro twice. And it raised over two billion media impressions, helping people understand the global water crisis and that there are simple solutions that we can address this issue of child dying from, from something as simple as a, a lack of clean drinking water. Partnerships are the absolute key to the success of our Children's Safe Drinking Water program. In fact, initially we were trying to do it our, by ourselves as a for-profit initiative. We had a team of 30 people and we were able to provide 10 million liters of clean drinking water every year. Not bad, but now we're providing more than a billion liters of clean drinking water because we're doing it through partnerships. Working with some of the largest humanitarian groups like World Vision, the NGO that's providing more clean drinking water than anybody else in rural areas, also with PSI, CARE, Save the Children, and also small local indigenous NGOs like Safe Water and AIDS Program in Kenya. And it's through this network of groups that we're able to create a supply chain to educate people in the packets so that they use it correctly, reinforce proper use, and get it down to even far rural areas where it's needed the most, whether it's in Haiti or near the jungles of Uganda or South Sudan. Uh, we're now working in more than 70 countries with more than 100 partners. Well, the advice I give them is to test concepts that they think would be a good fit with their brand equities with their uh, consumers. We practically begged some of our groups at P&G to just test it, just include it amongst the things you're testing, the concepts you're testing. And our brand groups have been surprised that time and time again, not only in the U.S., but in the developing world, in Japan, in the U.K., these concepts win because consumers do care. In fact, in the U.S., we ran a brand saver, a coupon booklet with high discount coupons uh, for P&G products, products people uh, probably are going to use anyway. You save some money. And what we did is we teamed it up with every coupon that you redeemed triggered a donation of a day of clean drinking water. So every coupon gave a day of clean drinking water. The week after the brand saver hit was the week of the largest week of sales in P&G's history in the U.S. That's fantastic proof that U.S. consumers do care about the global clean drinking water crisis and it can build a company's business.